when you find that you got mold tunnels in your yard and they're going around eating Japanese beetle grubs and other things under the soil but there are a lot of Japanese beetles and if you have a lot of beetles that lay eggs in your yard then the grubs are in there and then the moles come in your yard to eat the grubs now they make this product milky spore powder a lot of companies make it it's fairly expensive this is a 10 ounce container it'll do 2500 square feet it is like talcum powder and I blew that off because although it is one of the safest products you can use you don't want to breathe it get it in your eyes especially you don't want to get it on your clothes and carry it in your house you want to wear gloves you want to wear shoes you don't want to go barefoot uh, the, it's all will be explained on the package it's not that it'll kill you but you just don't want to ingest this or get it on your skin now to apply it they make an applicator years ago they did make applicators and some people say take one level teaspoon of this and put it around your yard every four feet in a grid I don't know about you but that's a lot of work well years ago the manufacturer said you could take a one pound coffee can and you mount it to two bolts you mount it to a stick this is the old broom on my panel you want it to be at least four feet long so that when you're standing and you're walking along it is very comfortable you want to drill holes in the bottom and what you want to use is a 9 16 inch bit some people recommended that you could punch it with a nail but when you punch it with a nail all that metal goes up inside and leaves little spikes all the way around the circle and it can clog up if you drill a clean hole in this at 9 16 now my can was used five years ago when I put mine down and I have to use it again so I'm gonna to have to make a new can because obviously the milky spore dust corroded the metal coating on the can but back when they told you to use a one pound coffee can I don't even know that they make a coffee can anymore uh, coffee in a can they said to use 20 holes now I've looked it up online and it's rare to find anybody talking about this method but to some that do say 15 but this has worked quite well for me you just put 20 holes in it if you put a board a uh, round piece of wood or something in the can you'll get very clean holes when you drill them out and they'll be just as flat on the inside as it is on the outside and it's best if the can has a lid because after you put this light talcum powder in that can if you put the lid on it no trash can get in it while you're putting it down I find it best that you would put this down after you would mowed your lawn because you don't want to mow your lawn after you put it down because this powder is pretty expensive at 10 ounces you'll find anywhere from the mid 20s to 30 some dollars a container so you want it to go down and stay down and the object of the game is to put it down water it in with a hose or put it down before you expect it to rain you can put it down any time of the year as long as the ground is not frozen I prefer to do it when it's warm so I can walk around the yard and all you would do that would be filled with the dust you've got the holes in it you've got a lid on the top and every four feet you just hit it on the ground and the dust will come out you want it to be up about six inches off the bottom so that the dust will go out in a pattern if it was really close to the ground the grass would get in the way and might not let it come out you don't want the to be this high off the ground when you do it because it would get all over your shoes get all over your pants so if you have it like that and if you pay attention to the wind like it's blowing from in front of me I wouldn't walk that way I'd walk back this way so the wind when I hit that would blow the dust in front of me 
and you do that every four feet just take a step or two and do it and then you go over here four feet and every four feet you just hit it and you can do your whole yard in a fairly quick time now the dust is on the ground the moisture allows it to penetrate the soil once it comes in contact with a grub it attaches itself to the grub and then the grub dies from the spore dust but when he dies he releases billions that's with a B more spore spores into the soil which will go out and kill more grubs that's why you do it every four feet in a grid pattern and then when you put it there and it'll spread out slowly over time and a grub eats it moves away a little ways dies and one billion are released right there so it takes about two or three years for this to completely enter all your soil and they say on the labels that it can last 15 years 20 years I find that it really works well for about five to six years and the reason it quits working is because you kill all the grubs now if you had continuous grubs which would be continually affected by the milky spore dust then the grubs would continue to die and release billions from each grub but once all the grubs die and we're talking Japanese beetle grubs this is what it primarily pertains to but when you have all these Japanese beetles flying around and they're laying thousands of eggs that has thousands of grubs and when you see the tunnels that means the moles are after the grubs if you don't have tunnels you don't have mole problem and you don't have mole problem because you don't have grubs for them to eat another thing you might want to get your neighbors interested in doing this because a few years ago my neighbor over there we both had grub problems and I'm talking 20 years or more ago I said I was gonna put this down and maybe he ought to put it down with me and he decided he didn't want to do that well once all these grubs in my soul dies the moles go over there or go to that yard or that yard if you got a neighbor on that side and all of a sudden he's saying I've got a lot of grubs and a lot of moles in my yard because I don't have any and that's about it you want to wear gloves say, say waterproof gloves you want to wear shoes you don't want to do it barefooted and uh, you don't want to ingest it you don't want to breathe it you do, definitely don't want to get it in your eyes and that's why with that can down there and a lid on it every time you hit it the dust just has to fall a few inches and all you have to do it is do it every four feet and you'll see the little white spots on the ground it'll, so it'll show you where you did it and if you had a little narrow spot like that you can just do it right down the middle and if you have them in your beds you can just hit it in your beds and that's all it does and it does work it's one of those products that it costs a little money but it does work it does does work and you will noticeably see a difference the first year and by two second third year you don't have any more and the moles leave and one thing about getting moles you get bowls in the yard because they can't dig a hole they're little blind mice and they run around under the ground eating all your roots and all your tulip bulbs so you get a twofer you get rid of the moles you get rid of the bowls that's it, folks.